This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods. Today's video will be on how to make another boot camp partition or manually make a boot camp partition. This of course applies to all Macs and I've decided not to include it into my Mac Pro series. I wasn't originally going to do this video, but I decided that it may be needed by some people. See, Boot Camp Assistant does not allow for you to make more than one Boot Camp drive, and yet your Mac can boot multiple copies of Windows. Also, this is useful for anybody who has a 32-bit CPU Mac, aka the Core Duo Macs, and are stuck on Snow Leopard, because as far as I know, Snow Leopard only has Boot Camp Assistant on the disk, and if you have lost the disk, you will need to do it this way to make a boot camp disk. So today I am going to be doing this on Lion, and eventually I'll also be doing it on El Capitan, but I am doing it on Lion right now for anybody who is using a older OS X all the way up to Yosemite. This is the same disk utility, and this also includes anybody who is using Snow Leopard because it's a similar disk utility. So let's begin. To make a extra boot partition, we need to either A, find an extra disk drive in our Mac, or partition another drive that is actually in the Mac, like if you have a Mac Pro, or we need to partition our main drive. But anyway, I am going to be partitioning my drive, but if you're using a separate drive, the only thing you'll have to follow after the partition is how to format it. So let's continue. I had decided to use my one terabyte Mac drive, which I already have it split into an Mac data drive and a Windows data drive. I wanted to add another Windows drive to it. Now, before we continue, if you have multiple partitions on your disk, first off, you should back up your drive either way. But if you have multiple partitions on your disk that are different file formats, if you make another file format disk, it will lock the disk essentially, and even though you'll be able to make more partitions, you will not be able to delete partitions. And the only way to fix this is to wipe the whole drive, which I ran into trying to delete the old Windows partition I had just made for another tutorial coming up. Anyway, so we will want to be partitioning our drive. So first we will want to select our partition we want to repartition. We'll want to go to partition, and for instance, I want to partition my Mac data drive. If you have a Windows partitioned partition, you will not be able to resize your Windows partition since it's a file format you can't edit in OS X. We will want to click on the corner and move it up to whatever desired size we want. For instance, I'll shrink my 500 gig into a 350-ish drive. Now we can go down and click plus. Now we have another drive here which we can rename for instance boot camp or something similar. And the reason why we want to name our partition something like that is so when we're in the Windows installer we don't accidentally delete the wrong drive. We then need to select ms.fat and click apply. We click partition and the drive partitions. Okay, after our partition is done, we can close out of disk utility and now we can go down to finder and look and see if our drive shows up, which it's right here. Now for the next part of the tutorial, I will be covering El Capitan. If you do not want to view this part, then skip over to the end of the video and pick up there. Now I'm sure this will apply to later OS X, aka Mac OS installs, but if you're using El Capitan, we will need to open up Disk Utility, click on the drive we want to partition, then go up to Partition, and pull this pie chart like thing to whatever we want it to be at. I want this to be at like, let's say 350. We then choose this and select ms.fat and name it whatever we want, like boot camp. And we click apply. 
and it partitions. Once it is partitioned, you are all set. Now, the only drawback of having two boot camp partitions is when you're installing Windows. Every time you reboot while it's installing, you will have to go into the device menu, aka the boot menu, and select your respective Windows boot disk to continue doing the install. If you want to learn how to do that really quick, you can click on this link up here, which I'll be putting in the video, and skip to eight minutes into it, and follow that real quick to show you how to boot into your Windows disk. Lastly, if you would like to learn how to install Windows if you don't already know how to do it, you can click this link up here and follow that video also. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutk Mods video. And we click plus, and we hit three, and it's not working. We select, for instance, I want to choose my Mac data drive, and I still don't know how to do it.